Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to learn Microsoft Excel in the most simplest way. Before that, I want to thank you so much for your appreciation for my last video. It gave me so much positive energy that I came up with another tutorial. Without saying much, let's go to the main agenda. Here we are. First, you should have at least a copy of an Excel sheet. If you guys don't have it now, don't worry. You can see from the video, I'm going to work in this text folder where I've already prepared an Excel sheet for you guys which I will use to demonstrate my lesson as well. It's about water consumption readings, where we have dates, meter identifications, daily consumption in three different units, US gallons, liters, and imperial gallons. And we have weekly total as well. In this lesson, we will just copy this sheet. While doing that, we'll try to make our sheet as similar to the given sheet as possible. I'll now explain to you guys how to make it in the easiest way. And once you understand this, then you can easily make other exercises by yourself. Okay, let's get into it. I'll right click the mouse button, choose new from the options and there we can find Microsoft Excel worksheet. Let's open it by double clicking it. Here we go. This is how new Excel worksheet looks like. And this is what we have to copy from. Now if you guys have a printed sheet with you, then it's good. But since I have to show you, I'll just divide the screen into two parts and keep two different sheets on each partition. You guys can also do that if you want. Just click Windows key and arrow left and arrow right key. Then you can place open sheets on either right or left side, wherever you feel comfortable. Here I put new worksheet on the left and the prepared one on the right side. Let's call that prepared sheet old sheet and the new one is obviously new sheet while explaining. I'll just zoom the old sheet just to focus on what I needed first. I've used control key and mouse scroll up and down for zoom in and zoom out. Okay, I can now easily copy all sheet to my new sheet. Just few things to keep in mind if you want to undo your work, then press Ctrl plus Z. For save, press Ctrl plus S. And if you select something wrong, then press ESC or escape key. I'll start from the beginning. We can see it's written water consumption readings at the top. So let's copy that. We can see here that water consumption reading in the middle of all sheet but in our sheet, it's on the right corner. I'll explain that after a while. For now, let's keep it as it is. One thing to understand that there are so many small boxes in all sheets which are called cells and they are on columns and rows. We can see that we also have small cells on the new sheet what are dim or not highlighted like in the old sheet. That is because we can use those dim cells and highlight them as per our requirement. How is it done? I'll shortly demonstrate it. But for now, we'll use the cells how many we need. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 columns and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rows. So in the new sheet, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, as 7 columns and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as 9 rows. We have used first row for the topic, so other 9 rows we will take for this. You may question why the sizes of cells are different in the old sheet and equal on the new sheet. I'll answer that question along the way. I'll start with date now. Type date. You can either press enter key or arrow down key to go to the down row. Then enter the date as shown in the old sheet. That's 1st January 2020 and enter. Now you can see that the text is out of the cell, but in the old sheet, it's totally inside. So for that, just take your cursor or mouse between the column A and B. You can see that icon of the cursor changes whenever you take it between those columns. When you see the change cursor, click the mouse and drag it towards right hand side as far as you need. It increases the horizontal size of the cell. Now just enter the next date on the next cell. After that, you don't need to put the dates, it just comes consecutively. And for that, you just need to select two dates by clicking on the first cell and dragging it down to the second. After that, go to the bottom right corner of that selected cell. As shown in the video, you can see the cursor icon changes. Just click on the corner and drag it down to the last cell you need, where we can see the dates are automatically showing same time you are dragging the cursor down. Finally, we've got our date as shown in the old sheet that is till 7 January 2020. Now we have the last row to fill. We'll simply write weekly total. The first column is finished. Let's go to the second column. It's written water meter number one US gallon. You can see that this text is way out of the cell border. Let's see what happens if we extend the size of the cell horizontally. It can accommodate the complete text, but it's not similar with the old sheet. So I'll increase the size of the cell vertically by going between the row two and row three. The size of the entire row increased vertically 
it seems like all sit now but still the text is out of the box so it's one of the most important trick in excel that you're gonna need for almost in every sheet that you work on select the cell that you want to work on right click select format cell then click alignment tab and mark these two check boxes for string to fit and wrap text then press ok now you can see that the text is perfect inside the box if you see the text is hidden then just try to increase the size of that cell and there it appears automatically next we'll just copy that complete cell and paste it to next two cells because the text is same only the number is different which we can edit easily here we go i can copy the selected cell by either clicking right click or simply using a shortcut key that's ctrl c i'll just select the first cell and drag the mouse by pressing and holding the left click till another cell now simply paste it by mouse right click or ctrl v one good thing about microsoft excel is that when we copy any cell it copies the entire format and formula so we don't have to put the formula or format again then we'll edit the number of water meter for that we can either double click on the particular cell or select the cell and edit from the top edit bar i personally prefer double clicking and editing on the cell itself but it's up to you whatever you feel comfortable now we have three more cells to copy total daily consumption us gallon next total daily consumption in liters and total daily consumption in imperial gallon there are some text hidden because of cell sizes so i'll make them big enough so what's next you see here in the old sheet the sales borders are properly visible with black color but in the new sheet the borders are dim so now it's time to highlight table select this or this or this or this one from the corner and drag the mouse diagonally towards opposite corner but remember we just need to select how much we want after this go to this icon where there are several options for border you can check them later what they do but for now we'll use all borders option you can see now the cells are looking different because they have highlighted borders now Oh, I'll make it a little better here. Now I'll enter the numerals 100, 100, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106. I'll just leave the cell empty because that is where we will enter formula. okay i've finished copying the numerals but there are still many cells that are empty that is because i'm gonna put the formula and the result will come automatically let's put the formula i need to add all these numbers so i'll click on the first cell and then drag the mouse down by clicking until the cell where i want the result which is here then click the icon for some which you see it's matching exactly so how we can double check if there is formula just double click the result and see it's written sum b3 to b9 b column third row to b column ninth row now it's so easy copy the formula like i've shown and check it's same that's sum c3 to c9 i'll show you guys another way to do the sum actually this is also very essential for you to learn go to the cell where you want the total or result and press equal sign from keyboard then go to the individual cells where we have d3 and press plus key then d4 again plus key then d5 plus d6 plus d7 plus d8 plus d9 then hit enter there you can see the total which exactly matched with all sheet so there are two different ways to do the same thing but they will not be applicable in all cases just to remember anyway now let's go to total daily consumption we want the result here so i'll select e3 cell and type equals key and b3 plus c3 plus d3 and enter then it shows the result now i'll copy that formula in each cell but rapidly by dragging the mouse down by clicking on the bottom right corner of the cell or you can do another way as well select the three cells by dragging the mouse and press the sum icon then copy that formula to all necessary cells down can see the formula by just double clicking actually this is the fastest way now for result you can copy another total and paste I see there is a small sign on the top left corner of D10 cell. If I take the mouse over it, then it says the formula in this cell differs from the formulas in this area of the spreadsheet. It's because we have done the same thing but with a different formula. If we copy the same formula as B10, then it will disappear. 
but it's okay it will not appear on the print copy or anything so i'll leave it for now now we'll go to the total daily consumption in liters it's a little different from others because we need to convert us gallon into liters so we need a conversion rate so let's go to google and find it us gallon to liters we can see one us gallon is equal to 3.785 liters now i'll input equals in f3 cell then select e3 cell multiplication and the conversion rate 3.785 and enter the result exactly matched with the old sheet i'll just copy the formula quickly and the total again we need conversion rate for imperial gallon one us gallon is equal to 0 0.832 imperial gallon so i'll just do like before now i'll delete these reference values as we need to save the job quite frequently you know sometimes there could be unforeseen situations and we may end up losing our hours of work just click this icon it looks like fluffy disk if you guys remember from a long time back also you can use a shortcut key Control plus s and also if you do some mistakes you can undo by Control g or Control y for redo as well finally we finished entering the text and values now we will enhance its quality and try to make it more similar to the old sheet. Let's start from water consumption readings again. The text in the new sheet is attached to the left side but it's in the middle in the old sheet. So just select all cells above our table and click on this icon called merge and center. Now all the cells in the first row have become one. Next I'll make the tenth row a little bigger trying to match its size like in the old sheet. Let's make this date column a little more big. See this date is on the bottom left corner. So I'll click that cell and go to this icon. Now it went up but still on the left side. Again I'll click this icon to make it in the middle. See if I click this it goes on the top. This for middle and this for bottom. Similarly this is for left side and this for middle and this for right. So I have to click this and this so that it will be exactly in the middle. Since all text and values are in the middle of each cell, I can do the same for each of these cells but it's time consuming. So I'll do it differently and quickly. Just select the entire table and click these two icons couple of times and we'll have every entry exactly in the middle. Now this topic is a little bigger then rest of our other entries so i'll increase the row height and maximize its size by pressing this icon here or select the text height from here or manually input the value of my choice like this but it's too big so i'll decrease the height by clicking this icon here okay the text height is approximately okay but the text is not bold as in the old sheet so i made the text bold by clicking on this icon here now we can see there are difference in the size of the entries this is thick and this is thin and this is thick and this is thin means except these cells all other entries are thick or bold so i'll select this and bold and same for all another thing now the border sizes are also different so we'll try to match it by selecting the table and applying the matching border which is thick box border It's time for fonts now. Here the fonts matched in both sheets. But what if they were different? For example, the font in this sheet was this one, which looks totally different, or this, or this. It would be a big headache. But just remember that font doesn't matter that much. But still, it depends upon your type of work. So, my suggestion always use the same font if possible. Here we know that we are using Calibri body font. So, I'll select that for now. We can also increase or decrease the height of entries like this. One more thing to add just here is italic style. Here we have italicized entries so we'll select the same entries in new sheet and make them italic as simple as that. I guess we're done with text, numbers and fonts so we'll go for color now. It's pretty easy just use pen bucket for color not the alphabet because alphabet does this. So pen bucket is what we need for now. Now I'll just try to match the color from the bucket.
There we go, we finished making our new sheet. It looks exactly like the old sheet. Now it's time to make it printable. Click file and press print. Then it shows the final preview. Here in our case, we can see one column is detached and went to another page. It's because the sheet we made is horizontal format and the print setup is in vertical format. Just change the orientation of the page by making it landscape from portrait. It's changed but still the table is not big enough. So we can see that there is some space remaining on the right side and some on the down side. So we'll increase the percentage of the table by clicking page setup and increasing this value. But don't increase it too much because it will break again. So we are good now. This is our final print preview. This is how it will look like if you print. Now just press print icon and the sheet will print through default printer set. We can also convert it directly to PDF from the same print option. Just we need to set the printer to Microsoft print to PDF similar to my case here. Additional information, you guys also can do subtraction and division very easily like addition and multiplication like I've shown here in the video. Oh sorry, I forgot to write number 2 here. I'll just write it quickly. One very important thing. In case you need to insert a row or a column in an excel sheet without deleting anything and you don't want to repeat over the job again, just click where you want to insert the row or column, then right click and select insert. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you guys want any particular tutorial, please write it in the comment box down below. See you again.